quite interested to see how it works, I would think. Do 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 do. I think saving is not useful at this point. Hello, pickle. Just gonna let the plot play out. What about husband? Okay, Zidane, you didn't address what about husband. Are you going to abandon husband? Forget about husband! Leave everything to me! Wow! Wait. Queen Bronze husband? I think you mean Captain husband. Husband still got the moves. He just jumped over that thing. It's my job to clean the bar. Why are you doing all this? <laughs> Sorry. This is such a weird line. I get what he's trying to do, though. Enjoy this music, please, by the way. I am Adelbert Husband. Pluto, I barely knew her. Go to the observatory. Go to the top of a mountain and sit and meditate for a hundred years, and then, and only then, will you understand the answer to the questions that you seek. But actually, that's not, no. Looks like husband is familiar with the cargo ship. How very strange. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, husband loves to clean, guys. He's the perfect husband. And he and he doesn't even want to be thanked. He wants to thank you. And he needs to make haste and get out of here as well. <laughs> Junker V in the chat says, This is the kind of music that goes through my head when I do chores. Just boop boop doot. Beansflash says, husband meditates for a hundred years and grows a husbeard. Woo. Husband does have a slight husbeard. He has a little facial, he has a little hair on his chinny chin chin. If you look at his uh, character model real close. Um, as it turned out, it didn't matter that we snuck into their mansion, but the kings were hiding something in their mansion. So... I didn't understand this until it was in retrospect, but when he says the kings, he... I believe that's a last name, not like literally some kings. 
There's a guy. You'll you'll find out later. It's cool. Just keep that little tidbitty. What's wrong? Am I boring you? Your story is very interesting. But that's all it is. A story. Pickup knows. Pickup's nose knows, and she smells a exaggeration in the air. Where is Junker Vivi? <laughs> I'm not worried about husband. Let's go look for him. Okay. How to save one million gil. Earn money the easy way. Making crazy money. Volume 2. It's almost like... <laughs> it's almost like somebody is concerned about money matters. How curious. Alright, well, anyways. Okay, I am questioning whether it's wise to give her that, and I will talk about it when we get to it. Alright, she can keep that. Actually, no, you know what? She can use that. And he can use this, and that's all for now. Let me check her abilities. Nothing. Heh. <laughs> Equip them all. He's got enough. He's got enough. I don't plan on fleeing, but it's better than losing money. Okay. Wait a minute. Last time I saw Junker VV, he was standing over there. <laughs> DB's vacuum says in the chat. Pickle, pickle can smell fibs. I don't know what you're talking about. We don't have to work the farm because of them. I like how the children got caught on each other. That was pretty cool. Chunk of Vivi said he heard a chocobo here. Is someone crying? Coming, it's coming from the hole! in this village. There's gotta be a way into the underground somewhere. Let's look for one. Well, as it turns out, it's a dance. I know just the spot. Seems like such a quiet village. But that my, my fucking friend was kidnapped. Ah, uh, constructal. <laughs> Space God says crying from the hole in other memoirs. Junker V says, oh no! Because poor Junker V is suffering. Constructal says this is really messed up. It's about to get a whole hours. I guess, depending on how touched you are in your emotions by video game. Let's go down. I'm trying to build dramatic tension, I'm sorry. Make me clunk. 156 gills. How wonderful. How charming. This isn't. They changed the chocobo noise, and I don't like it.
so the plot, in retrospect, because, you know, this is the first time I've played this in a while, it's kind of, kind of just fool around, you know, it looks like a... I'm, I'm feeling like this is cool. But then again, I felt like it was cool then, so... Probably think it's cool now. There's a treasure. There's a treasure. It's a potion. Anything else? So you guys are just hanging out in a weird... See the gutter, by the way? That's that hole. I guess it's for ear. So this is why I heard a chugga bar up there, because there's one screaming in his little pen, and why won't he eat the... the radish? Bird, eat the radish. Okay, hold on. By the way, see something in that barrel for Happis? I have a favor to ask. Deliver a letter. Yes, of course. Alright, we'll save. We don't really need to, but we'll do it. Yeah, yeah, you're not writing no data. You auto-save. No, I don't. No. Thank you. Okay. Have fun in your barrel, my friend. I... The monkey man has a plan to get all the stuff. Let me down. Let me down. What is that strange bird contraption? I don't know if I ever saw that, really. Do you see it? It's up in the upper left. It's shaped like a coffin. That is just quite a terrible day. Kick the wheel. Give me the treasure. Oh, show. <laughs> Alright, uh... There's a lot of treasure in this here room, isn't there? Okay, should not have gone to the store and bought that leather wrist, I guess. Okay, we got an iron helm, which surprisingly is not... Oh, come on. Get back there. It's a dancer. I... Is there other? No. I think that's... Oh, I thought... Why? What? Wait, what? I didn't know you could go up there. That's cool. From that angle. Uh, Runch says, I was about to ask why there was a treasure chest floating in midair. Why not? Pickle hears the sound of tears. Alright, well, we found Junker BV. They put him in a box. I don't know why. Poor Junker BV. What happened? Uh, well, alright. Yeah. Comic Kinenser says he cries in coffin. And Runch says Pickle knows the sound of tears very well. Get off me, you scumbag. Pickle takes note. It surprises your attacker and empowers you. I see. I need to ask you a favor, Junker VP. I don't remember this part. We want to check out what's ahead. I know you might not be thrilled with the idea. However, it's in dance. I want to know more too. Look, what is that thing? Pretty creepy looking. Yay! Alright, um. Let's get that treasure. Let's 
also do this naughty thing. Is this smoke? No, this is mist! Open. Nothing can come... Nothing can come ab about from this. Oops, we're in a battle. Hey, stop that loading screen. I don't care. I thought I'd turn that off. Ooh, add status. That's wonderful. Huh, 20. Eh. Runch in the chat says, That machine is a large mechanical chicken. Pooping out eggs. Beaten up ghosts. about levels right now but anyway let's go in this room spoopy let's get the treasure let's get the other treasures so I'm sure nothing bad's gonna happen guys not a thing not even one thing that's bad oh wow we did not get into any battles that's crazy it has like a really high encounter rate in this room so many machines what are they doing here Okay, well, okay, there's a Miss Machine. Cool. And now we can look at this. What is this? Is that an egg? Does this machine make an egg? This. Oh. Oh, what's up? How come I can't get on those stairs without getting into battle? I didn't want that. Um. I guess just some more feelings and thoughts about this game. When I was young and played this, it was really hard to, like, keep a beat on the plot, because it would take so long to do things. In retrospect, playing it now, it really develops a lot faster when you can play the game correctly, like... I don't know, I guess, I guess kids are just not very smart. Like, I can think like that room with the three treasure chests, I was like, HOW DO I GET THAT THIRD CHEST?! And like, I couldn't find a way... Had it, like, you know... I don't know. I just could not figure out puzzles very quickly, or even like maps or whatever. Just thought I had to level up for eternity, didn't know you could walk to the other end of the room, that kind of thing. So... It's interesting coming back now, all these years later, and like, knowing what to do, and not having to think about it very much. And I don't think I was a particularly, um, I don't know, not very clever child. I was just about a normal, normal child wisdom amount. But then again, I guess this was probably maybe the first RPG that I'd ever played. Are you gonna kill- you killed my friend, you fucker! Taste my blade. Pickle, you better act. You guys are leveling. Uh, some of you may notice that we that uh, husband is going to get out of step with us in levels, but it, it does not matter because husband is just so powerful. Like, it's shocking how how powerful he is. Don't don't don't. It's empty. Okay. Not helpful. Let's see what else we can get up to. Good question. I don't know why they don't use a machine to do this. Here's another strange machine. 
Looks kind of like the mist engine on the theater ship. That's nothing. So... Please, no more ghosts. Oh, yeah, okay. This is not gonna be good either, though. For you see, these enemies can steal from you, but if you attack them quickly enough, maybe it won't be a problem. How dare you! <laughs> Runch in the chat says, I remember you don't access half your party for three discs. That's... yeah, that's about... That's true, but it doesn't really matter, like... the Actually, that's something that I like that they do with this game. They split up the party a lot and, like, force you to work with, like, smaller parties. I actually... I think that's a cool mechanic. And also, if anyone was curious, there's obviously fixed classes in this game. So, it's kind of the end of that. You can't, uh, pull around. Why was I checking my status? Anyways... The dance can almost see inside the machine. But he can't see anything, he just hears some noise. Are the eggs hatching? Alright, get ready for an awful scene, guys. And now...